you see the title. You see what, what I'm surrounded with. I have an antique shop. Well, not just me, Johnny and I are antique shop owners. This is honestly a very special moment because Johnny is the person that introduced me to the antique shopping experience. No, you brought me to Wow's Antiques for the first time and yeah. then I've been going there ever since. Say hi, this is a vlog. Uh, this is my vintage shopping buddy, Johnny. Yes, uh, like lampshade. Oh, I need a hug. If you guys know anything about Johnny on the channel, um, back in 2016, he took me to an antique shop for the first time and everyone thought it was an old lady thing to do. Nobody wanted to go antique shopping. And our mutual friend was like, hey, you should meet my friend Johnny. He loves antique shopping. She introduces us and then like a day later, Johnny and I like hit each other up to go shopping. And he introduced me to all the local antique shops in the Lehigh Valley. So this is truly just a dream to accumulate vintage together and sell it together. We're very passionate about antiques. And we're also very passionate about Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. We love it. It's our hometown. So I'm sure you're wondering what the name of our vintage slash antique shop is called. And it's actually called Hometown Vintage. And this took, I kid you not, like three months, four months to come up with. Ever since we got the shop, we have been stumped on a name. We played with Pink Door Vintage. <laughs> We played around with some other names, but I feel like hometown is just so fitting. You guys know Bethlehem, Pennsylvania holds such a special place in my heart. No matter where we go in this world, this is our hometown. We love it. We love antiques. And this is honestly just such a special moment for us. Hometown vintage and uh, I just... The energy just feels so right, feels like alignment. So if you guys remember back in the Gabmas vlogs, I announced that I got a storefront. I still have that storefront, it's still under reno, but as of right now, it's storing a lot, I mean majority of our vintage. With that, I also have a bunch of other stuff going on. You guys know I'm never sitting still. So our storefront essentially, which would be my brick and mortar, is not going to be open for in-person shopping for a little bit more time. We're still setting that up and getting it nice and pretty. You guys know I love a good presentation. The alternative for now is the online shop. So to answer your guys' questions, we are launching the online antique shop first. So just consider this the extension of what's to come. So hometown vintage isn't just clothing, although it's mainly what we sell so we sell vintage clothing tchotchkes holiday seasonal decor we even dabble with some baby and bridal not for me but for you guys and you guys can start shopping as soon as this week on the whatnot app the hometown vintage will be selling on the whatnot app so whatnot is a live shopping platform where sellers auction or sell everything from collectibles to fashion to vintage and you can get amazing deals also you guys can get ten dollars of spending credit in order to lock your credit you have to click the link in the description box and create an account then you search hometown vintage in the search bar to find my upcoming show and then all you have to do is bookmark and then attend so let's talk about the live streams i will be live streaming three times in the next one to two months where i'll be auctioning items that you can purchase i'll be talking about them more in depth and showcasing them for you guys you guys can chat with me and you can bid i've actually been preparing for my live streams and i've been watching other live streams and i'm just so excited to have that like bonding experience with you guys i feel like i don't live stream enough as is so this is just like a really fun opportunity where we could like talk about the vintage together you guys can get like a better look at what you would potentially be purchasing so so make sure to attend my show this week. The time and date is on the screen. And yeah, you guys can shop Hometown Vintage now. So Hometown Vintage, our online shop, is on the Whatnot app. And I cannot wait for you guys to see all the things that we've collected. So if you guys have been following me on like TikTok or Instagram, I've been just like, ever since I landed in Bethlehem, PA, I've been antique shopping nonstop. And I opened the questions tab on my Instagram stories to see if you guys had any questions about my vintage shop. Let's go down. Let's see the first ones. Well, there's a lot of questions. What type of items will be there? For the online shop, it's mainly dress and tchotchkes but the storefront will have like big furniture pieces and I feel like it's mainly furniture and dresses in the shop what days are you open so right now I'm just focused on the whatnot app but when the storefront opens I'll do a whole video just like this explaining everything will it be affordable pricing yes will there be worldwide shipping as the whatnot app states it says most countries where is it located we are based in Bethlehem Pennsylvania what sizes will be available we range from small to large in clothing Gabby just want to say I love you I love you too Will it be open during Easter? The online shop will be open during Easter. We have so many Easter goodies, oh my gosh. Will your shop resell any of your designer pieces or is it strictly vintage? Um, actually, I'm glad you asked this because this shop is so disassociated with anything designer. Um, if we do find something designer, it'll be vintage, like a Louis Vuitton briefcase or something. But with buying vintage, it's it gets complicated because with vintage, it's really hard to prove what's real or what's not whatnot so i would probably take it upon myself if i found like a designer piece of like furniture or 
an item to get it authenticated but we do have what is like designer clothing like vintage dior valentino like slips so i guess yeah but um when i do like resell like my designer items like i have been doing private sales on my home's instagram account which i know you guys who follow me on there because the consumer audience from gab tonight antiques moved over to the cottage palace my home's instagram i know my consumer audience is on the cottage palace's instagram so when we do open the storefront i will like shout out the instagram on there so you guys can just like move over to the stores to the store's Instagram. I hope I'm explaining this okay because I have been getting that question a lot. I wondered if you guys were expecting me to sell luxury, but I guess you could say the answer is like, no. Will your shop have a certain scent like vanilla or specific perfume? I mean, my house smells like vintage and like vanilla. Like when I say vintage, vintage has a smell. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like old books, like that smell. My home smells like that mixed with like the country candles that I burn in here. Um, the shop itself, um, like wood. <laughs> Where in Bethlehem will it be? In Fountain Hill. Why did you decide to start it? I never answered this question. Um, I had Gap 20 Antiques in 2019 and 2020, and then I stopped, and I felt like antique shopping in those years, like when I was like actively shopping for the items that I was selling, brought me so much joy. And for the past year, I have been collecting vintage. I know I've seen comments here and there like, oh, she's hoarding like bridal cake toppers, or oh, she has so much furniture, what does she do? Like, in the past year, I've been slowly like collecting things, even furniture. You should have seen the other side of my basement like a year ago. I was totally collecting like vintage furniture, thinking I was just gonna renovate my house, but in the back of my mind, in the back of our minds, we've always wanted a shop. I just didn't think it would be possible or tangible in less than a year. Is Allie helping with it? Oh, Allie's such a good friend. She always helps when she can. Are you gonna have an Instagram for it? I love following the last one. Yes, but not right now. Right now we're just focused on whatnot. What are you most excited about the shop? Just in general, this is a bucket list thing that I'm checking off. I know I was designing dresses last year and now I have a shop this year. And like, I guess, what TikTok did I hear someone say this? Like that they want to be like Barbie. They want to be able to say like they did this, they did that, they did this to their grandkids. I guess like that's where I'm headed. Like I don't even know if I'll have grandkids, but I would love to like look back at my life and like in like a scrapbook and be like I was there and I did that and I I had this company and I I went to that country and I met this person and I fell in love with this person. Like I just want to look back at my life and smile. I can't believe we are antique shop owners and in Bethlehem. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up, but I love you guys so much. And if it weren't for you guys, truly, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you for supporting me in any way that you can. Your support means so much to me. God gave me this. And whether you guys are older than me, younger than me, same age, like I have a family within you guys. And I just, I love you so much. And thank you for watching me still. Um, yeah, shop my shop and my live stream is this week. I'll see you in my next vlog.